Oh, oh. I was about to say, oh my gosh, we're both pregnant at the same time. Okay, that is a blue ass baby. Hey, my little peaches, and welcome back to another video. I couldn't stay away, basically. I have to get back. I have to get back. I am just really into the storyline right now. The chaotic energy in it is strong, and I am most definitely very much here for it. So in the last episode, we went into the woo-woo decontamination, the most romantic object in Saffron's life right now. You are, I know, but it is for his protection uh, to make sure he doesn't catch any human uh, germs and diseases from Saffron. Not that she's diseased. I'm not saying that. He's just made up of a different makeup and he seems very, very happy with everything that went down. But I'm going to use the good old, is it HG Wells? I feel like it's HG Wells. More of the world's get out of jail clause and be like, oh, he can't stay here though for the air has germs and microbes that only us as humans who've survived. How long have we been around? Thousands of years. We've earned the right to live on earth because we've survived these germs and microbes for thousands of years. Alien boy Vivan Avos here has only actually been here for, I don't want to discredit the guy, an hour, babes? So it's just not safe for him to stay here and keep breathing this stuff in. Obviously, it is very, very sad for Saffron because she's not going to be able to spend more time with him, but a lot of the things she's doing are for his safety. She is trying to look after her new alien love who has apparently found pictures of llamas on Earth and he's just like, look at these things. How weird are they? What's with the hump? I don't get it. Honestly, really? So I'm going to go ahead and send Saffron home. Another reason I want to send her home is because I want to do a wee wee for a pregnancy test. So we're going to do that first thing. If you guys are as excited as I am, please go ahead and give this a big thumbs up. I am sorry for the strong energy I have at the moment, but I'm hyped as if you guys couldn't tell already. Uh, so if you want to continue with the strong, hypey, chaotic energy, go ahead and hit subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video. We are back at the Rust renovation. Oh my gosh. I've just realized if there is an alien bubble root. If there isn't, I'll keep them trying. As you guys know, with all the mods I have now, it actually does make things kind of hard because I have to like, am I at the right time of the month? Am I first or else? Like things you have to think about in real life. I've now got to think about them in The Sims and I don't really even understand how that stuff works in real life. So, you know, we'll have to build a whole room. This house is kind of tiny. <gasps> no baby! <laughs> But very flirty. Okay, that just means I guess we'll have to do it again. She looked a bit sad there. Oh, oh. I was about to say, oh my gosh, sorry. We're clearly watching you when you're going for more than just a wee here. But she is actually eating for two. Okay, I'm gonna hit a hot pause here because I think with the last generation, I knew I was only allowed to have one child. So I made that child a girl. And with Minzy, I think... Think. Well, we had loads of babies with Minzy, so it was different. We had twins. We had twin girls. The next generation. Let's just pull it up real quick so we can review and reassess. So, generation yellow. Do I have to complete? I do have to master the astronaut career. Okay, that's the only thing we've not done. That is the only thing we've not done yet. Okay, generation four is grey. You felt like you were different. Alien hybrid. Tick. Well, the rest of your family was busy messing around in the lab. Saffron. I don't think she's going to stop being a scientist anytime soon. You just wanted to be outside playing basketball. We need to build a basketball court. Good to know. You're very good at sports. You've got them alien genetics. You know, can go faster harder, stronger. You dream of becoming a professional athlete to make up for your non-existent relationship with your parents because one of them can never visit Earth only for tiny periods of time. And the other one, if we do decide to do this thing where the wormhole shifts and we never get to see him again, she's probably going to spend a lot of time pining trying to reach that area of space, six them. You want to be there for your own children as much as possible and you love to sing. Okay, because this sim is very much like sports vibes, if we do end up with a boy, I don't love the idea that, oh, before we've had these other sims, but now this one's sporty, so this one has to be a boy. Obviously, I'm not saying that that is the case, but I think it would be kind of cool to have a sporty girl. If we don't have a girl, I may use a bit of MCC magic, but let's see just for now. The other thing I'm a little bit worried about is I thought that I would be able to download a mod, which would let me kind of make sure that the baby has human skin tones. However, sorry, I'm just noticing that Taco Cat has not left this table in a long time. Are you okay? Is everything okay, Laika? I think the cat is trapped. The other thing that I'm kind of worried about is because I downloaded this mod that was meant to let me use human skin tones on aliens. I tested it on Alien Boy and it did not appear. The reason I think it hasn't appeared is because the skin tones have obviously had an update. So I am a little bit worried that I'm not gonna be able to have human skin tones. The way I could get around that is with overlays. So I could get around that. It is something to bear in mind though. I guess we'll discover it as we get to it. So I am just gonna go ahead and check Huh, okay, that makes things easier. Uh, no male babies, one female baby. Brilliant, and only one baby. I've changed my MCC so it doesn't create as many like quadruplets, triplets, six tuplets, seven. Oh, 
oct 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 octopus children. Um, so we should get as many of that now. Oh, she's feeling the effects of pregnancy. You actually said you wanted to start eating less quick meals, but uh, you do you. So yeah, we need to start working on a place for this child to live in this house. So what I think I'll probably do is have to extend backwards this way a little bit to add an extra room to the back of the house. The other thing I think I'm gonna do is, well, one, it's the weekend, so salami vibes. But two, I'm gonna give Emily a key to my house because I feel like we're gonna need her help. And I always liked the idea that she was gonna help us out with any future babalaroos. And she's liking having this new mirror. She's also gonna boost her confidence in it. Good loss. And she's still feeling super passionate from hot and heavy. First time, first kiss, first woo-woo, clean and satisfied. Oh, from a good shower, woo-woo, nice. We have to go tell Emily the news. She's gonna be like, I didn't know you were dating. Who's the father? She's gonna be like, yeah, the father fell out. Um, a lot has happened since I saw you last. I think we can trust Emily with the news. What I'm thinking we're gonna have to do though is until we work out this kid's disguise, we low-key might have to keep the baby at home because like, how are you meant to hide an alien baby? It's one thing to hide as an alien as an adult. I think it might be a struggle with a baby but let's just see. Let's just see what happens. So work in three hours. I am gonna immediately get you running because we need to hit this. Oh, I hate that it does this. I hate that it does this. But I actually can't increase my fitness skill whilst I'm pregnant. Also, I've realized she doesn't have a PC, which is very strange for a scientist. Can't really afford one right now. Although I have a bunch of stuff to sell. I think we're gonna be able to afford a PC. We're keeping some of the space junk that we just like because it's cool. But we're not actually gonna like submit any of this to the Geo Council because we don't want them to know about the aliens. See, see how I'm thinking, you guys. I also got the Snapdragon. I think they're worth a lot, so I'm gonna plant that. We're growing some of these alien plants as well, because what I was kind of thinking is, I feel like she'll want to try and foster an alien-type environment for her future baby, because she'll be like, if it's an alien, I want it to like, one, I hope it can breathe our air, but two, I want it to make sure it feels like it's at home and it's got some of its own alien culture, of which she doesn't know a lot about, but she can grow alien plants, so, you know. Okay, so I'm like, I want a PC so I can order a book so I can study fitness. Also, though, kind of Loki need to build a room for a baby, but also does baby need a room? It could just like vibe out anywhere for now. Probably gonna get a promotion if I get my fitness up. Like it's, it swings and roundabouts, you know? I wanna see if I can build up her fitness through books. It's something I've never, oh, I can't. Okay, well, I guess since I can't work out now, I'll have to build my fitness up through books instead. Reading, how to be fitter. Wow, well, I can feel my muscles burning just from reading this book. And oh my gosh. Okay, alien babies seem to grow kind of fast because I am seeing a lot of evidence into pregnancy already. I know they get a tum tum pretty quickly, but we only found out yesterday. Oh. <gasps> How weird that this has happened right after we've met Vayan. I kind of low-key feel like maybe he's just sprinkled, sprinkled some uh, alien-style magic on us. Hey, beautiful, do you want to go on a date today? You can't come here, it's not safe. I'm sorry, I'm at work, I have commitments. And by commitments, I have to go top up my tan in Solani. <gasps> and we're back home, why are you sad? Depressed, I'm gonna be a terrible parent, my child will hate me. Oh my gosh, no. No, she, she's worried about all this stuff. I guess like she's not, she's not what you would immediately jump to mind when you think of like parent vibes, but who in this challenge so far has been? You're gonna go to the Spice Festival. I'm sorry. I'm having cry into the quilts in my spacesuit time. So I can't right now. Also, I have to read this book that tells me how to get a birth. And then since she's feeling worried about parenting, oh my gosh. No, you can't. It's not safe. I'm sorry. Since she's worried about parent and stuff, I am gonna definitely go over and see Emily and be like, I need your help quite desperately. Her friends are wondering where they are because um, Alyssa is here. Like, we've not heard from ages. Like, when I called by the house, you went at home. Obviously, we were in space. But no, I can't right now. There's just a lot going on. And I'm feeling really tired and miserable from this pregnancy. I bet alien pregnancies are really hard as well. You're literally growing something alien inside your own womb. This goes wrong on so many horror films. Oh my gosh. Hey, beautiful. He's texted me like four times. Like, seriously. I have to tell him about the pregnancy at some point, but you can't be here. I'm sorry. Also, she's single and loving it. She really likes him, obviously, but she's not about to give up her life of discovery and ambition for no man, even no alien man. So we're heading over kind of late, but I don't think Emily will mind. Let's head over. Let's bring kitty cat on. Relaxing, sunbathing whilst pregnant. This is what she needs, okay? I saw Sim walk by the house with the same hair as Emily and a tum-tum, but I was like, no. But now I'm looking at her picture and I'm like, 
No, no, seriously. Okay, I haven't done this. I'm just putting out that I've not done this. So this is much as a surprise to me as it is to you guys. But somehow they're pregnant at the same time. This could be good. Apart from one of them's gonna be an alien. I mean, I kind of like this. Honestly, I'm kind of low-key also surprised that Emily didn't get pregnant before now. Because with MCC, if you're unplayed, chances are you're gonna get knocked up. Oh, geez, she's more pregnant than we are. Wow, okay, we're just having a little dance. Thanks for letting me stay. You're pregnant too. We're both pregnant at the same time. I actually can't believe this. She is third trimester vibes. Is she gonna give birth while we're here? Are we gonna see Emily give birth? Oh my God. She's like, what? You're pregnant? No way. Who is the father? Who is the father? Jeffrey Delgato? Who is Jeffrey Delgato? I have no idea. I have literally no idea. But they are gonna have matching babies. So she's like, oh my gosh, you're pregnant too. What? Yeah, mine's a little bit awkward. <laughs> So I'm gonna announce my pregnancy as well. Like, oh my gosh, by the way, I'm pregnant too. She's like, oh, I thought you were, but I didn't want to say anything. She's like, yeah, we're totally pregnant at the same time. She's like, oh my gosh, who is it? And she's like, so. <laughs> so I love that they're gonna have babies at the same time. But I feel like Saffron's like, I'm not fully like... <sighs> So I met somebody. Would I know them? No, you wouldn't know them. <laughs> you definitely wouldn't have known them. I'll show you where they're from. Let's go stargazing. So they're off to go lie in the sand and look up at the stars. Oh my gosh, look at these two pregnant legends just there vibing. She's like, okay, so I may have invented a way. I may have gone to space as part of my job and met some alien life. Emily's like, okay. May have we... What? <laughs> may have we weird with them? Um, okay. Okay, so I thought my news was kind of crazy but turns out yours is a million times crazier but i don't know what you're gonna birth but we shall see we shall see hey at least we're in this together right she feels illuminated by the stars looking up imagining that he's there emily has such good genes that i'm hoping this jeffrey guy does as well and um, with saffrons i have no idea how alien genetics work so honestly low-key we may have to kind of play god a little bit if the baby ends up looking like really alieny because i don't want that i want the baby to look like human with just some alien tweaks so we may have to do that ourselves if it comes out looking super weird genetics then i will play I will definitely try and have myself a little play. And geez, the toilets in this house are going to be so grim. I've just seen Emily get up and throw up. And also, Saffron needs to throw up as well. <laughs> the morning sickness is strong in this house. And I think Emily's headed off to work. She apparently works Saturdays now. I wonder if she's had a little promotion. Can I at least swim? I can. I can do a little swim. Okay, this is good because it's going to help with our fitness. It seems to be one of the one exercises you can actually do. And I feel like a pregnancy aqua aerobics are like a thing. I don't know. I feel like they are. So that's what I'm going to do with her today. She's just going to swim around, work on that fitness for her job while Emily works. And when Emily gets back from, oh no, exhausted, everything hurts. Is this morning sickness? Oh geez. Wait, why is there a voodoo? This is why alien pregnancy scares me, guys. Can you not just pee in the ocean? I would. I mean, you're pregnant. You don't have to run all the way back here and wee, but fair enough. <gasps> lifestyle gained. She's got the outdoorsy lifestyle. Does that include space? Because if so, yes. So that means she's got her own individual li um, lifestyle, her mum's lifestyle, and her dad's lifestyle. That's really cool. I like that. Oh my gosh. He's so desperate to do human stuff. You can't. Oh my gosh. I really wish you could, but it's not safe. You can't go to the discotheque. No. He won't stop. He literally won't stop. Okay, her fitness skills, like she spent the whole day swimming. It takes a lot towards the end to build up your skills, so. A whole day swimming and a fitness skill is just about to tick over to level seven. This is not the fastest way to build up your fitness, but it works. Boom, fitness level seven. Okay, come back home and have yourself a little nap. And Emily, how pregnant are you looking right now? You will see that has got to be, that has got to be trimester three. Okay, boom. And her non-alien pregnancy seems pretty rough as well, like... That hers seems just as tough. So I have a little chit chat with her. Try and make her feel a bit better. Even Laker's trying to help. And look at these tum-tums. Look at these tum-tums. The tum-tums are big. The tum-tums are real big. And I'm noticing Emily going back and crying in here a lot. I don't know what the story is with Jeffrey, but I don't think it was a happy story because there's an awful lot of crying going on. Ooh, and it's the first day of summer. So baby's going to be a summer child. And I 
think Emily may be in labor. Way to steal my pregnancy thunder. I think Emily's gone into labor. Okay. I can't like do anything because she's not my controlled sim. I can't be like, maybe you should go to hospital. I don't know what happens. I don't know if they just remain in labor while you're visiting them. That would be kind of harsh. I was kind of low-key hoping that she'd have the baby while I was here, but I just don't know if it will work. Yeah, she's literally in labor. I can't send her off. I can't just send her off. So I kind of feel bad because she, she's been in labor for like a whole day now. It would be really cool if we had babies at the exact same day. But I can't just keep her endlessly in labor. Also, I am in... I'm in trimester three. So they'll be a day apart. I think that's totally fine. I'm gonna head home because I can't keep doing this to Emily. It's too mean. This is like a really long labor. I mean, look at the girl. She's suffering. We can't do this to her. Look how sad and miserable she looks. However, I think it's literally as soon as we leave, it will force her into hospital. And that will be our... Technically, her baby's our cousin. But it'll be more like both of our babies are cousins together because of the age. And she's been pregnant is really exhausting. Okay, I'm gonna see if it's done it straight away. If I look at my family tree, it has, it has, it has. Lindsay! Lindsay Lannister, double L. Can I actually see who the dad is now? There's a whole family tree. They're appearing, they're appearing, they're appearing. Okay, this is their dad. He's a drinks master. Jeffrey Delgado. Oh my gosh, he is one of... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He is one of eight, including identical quadruplets. Okay, so there we go. Jeffrey. Good old Jeff. Jeffrey's the only baby. Kind of debating CC and him up and getting them married. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. But now she's had hers. It's time for us to get ready for ours. And I actually do have enough money to build a little extension of Rooney. So I think we should probably get on that too. And it would be kind of like that. We'd still have our little space out the back here for like science in. But it would be a lot smaller. But that's kind of part of being a parent, isn't it? Reducing like your space to make room for your kids. And I might have to like actually get like a nice little outdoor bit built. With like some room for activities and the basketball court probably out here. And this kid's generation is grey. I actually really like decorating grey. Because apparently. I'm super boring, but I think gray looks nice. I do kind of like the idea that Saffron's like, oh my gosh, I have to make this child's room feel like alien. I have to try and make it feel like it's at home. So initially we have like a really spacey vibe for this kid. But then obviously we know that the kid actually does not like this vibe and just wants to be human. So we will get things changed and chopped as they get older to fit their like gray vibes. But it would make sense, right? If you had an alien baby, you wouldn't just decorate the room gray. You'd be like, oh, I need to make it feel like it's at home. Okay, so for now she's designed. I'm gonna say a special bassinet that will provide oxygen because she doesn't know if this baby's gonna be able to breathe the air. And we've just tried to go for a really spacey feel. I've put all of her like space junk that she's collected there. We'll put some plants in there from its home planet. This is like if, in case the baby needs a really specific diet. She's trying to think of everything that she could possibly do to uh, make sure Babalaroo is okay on planet Earth because we don't know. We just don't know. And oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Vian has turned up wearing what I'm assuming he thinks is a disguise. It's not. It, that isn't just not the way humans look. Just get in the house, get in the house, get in the house. Oh my gosh, he's got a gift. Th this is really nice, but like, I need you to not look like that because that's, that is actually more bait. Uh, and I guess this is as good a time as ever to tell him because uh, it's pretty obvious. By the way, this was the result of the space shower incident. And I'm guessing you've used the wormhole that I did leave in the cave to get here. Oh, he's massaging her butt because he can tell she's sore. That's so cute. And obviously, as soon as he's here, a special connection. She do be getting very, very flirty. Very, very flirty. This is real nice. But like I said, it's so scary you being here. There's people like cycling by. And God, we've got curtains. So as nice as it is seeing you, and I'm really glad that I got to like tell you about the pregnancy. I might have to send you home. You need to go back into the wormhole now under the cover of darkness. Never put that rig out on ever again. And please make sure no one sees you. Just go quickly. You're stressing me out. <gasps> And we've gone into labor. We've gone into labor and we're immediately about to wee ourselves. I can't have this baby in a hospital. I can't do it. That would just be an absolutely terrible, terrible. Oh my gosh, you weed under the bed. You can't even reach it. That would be the worst idea. The absolute worst idea because I don't know how this baby's gonna come out. I've never had an alien baby in the whole time I've been doing Sims. I've never had an alien hybrid baby or an alien baby. So I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't know what it's gonna look like. I feel like my mods might overwrite it and give it a human appearance, even if it's not, at least while it's a baby. I guess we're yet again gonna discover this together. <gasps> okay, it's happening. Oh my gosh, look how pregnant she is as well. Just, wow. Alien babies are huge. I'm so intrigued to this. 
First time, first alien baby, first alien hybrid. Let's see, let's see how it looks. <gasps> and I need to think about names. I need a gray name, a gray name, okay. Okay, congratulations, it's a girl. This baby needs a name. I can't just call the child an alien name. That is just, it's just too bait, okay? It's just too bait. So there is literally the name gray, bit on the nose. There is ash, as in the color, gray. Ashley. Ash works. Oh, we could spell it like Ash. And then it's like from Final Fantasy 12. Yes. Ash. Okay, literally means gray. And I like the name Ash. And uh, reminds me of Pokemon as well. It's a beautiful name. Ashberry. This is our gray sim. Kapow. And how does it look? Right now, it doesn't look at all. Okay. That is a blue ass baby. Oh, geez. See, this is why we couldn't do this in hospital, guys. That is a whole blue baby. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. We're going to get child support payments. How rich is the alien boy? He just sent us two grand. Okay, I guess I can get the shelves to decorate the baby's room. And I'm glad I went purpley blue in here because I have a whole purple baby. So if you know of, please say somebody does. If not, like I said, I will use overlays. But if you do know of a way to allow aliens to have human skin tones since the update, old mods won't work for this. It has to be something since the update. Oh my gosh, I can't. Why does it not sound like an alien cry, by the way? Why does it sound like a human cry? Do not know. And oh my gosh, she's just like, I know you're a baby and all, but like, I gotta go to work to get a promotion. Which daycare are you sending it to? Is it being beamed up to space? They're gonna ask questions. We'll just pretend it's got like a really like unknown illness that makes it bright blue. But yeah, if you do know of a mod, please let me know in the comments below because I do not want this baby to just be blue the whole time. It's not really what I'm aiming for in this series. I want things to look a little bit more realistic. Oh, also, we got this cute lights now as well. So yeah, please let me know about any mods. Let me know what you think about the name Ash. And we have a blue alien baby. Let me know what you guys think about that as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a big cheeky thumbs up and I'll see you guys in another one. Bye.